welcome to this short introduction to using the Nook iPad app with the built-in VoiceOver screen reader. VoiceOver appears on the iPhone, the iPod Touch and the iPad. It can be started in a number of ways. On my iPad, I can triple click the home button and then choose it from the menu that appears. VoiceOver on, messages. Double tap to open, landscape. Home button to the left. When VoiceOver first appears, it reads out some information from the screen and you may see a black line appears around the item that it just read about. The first thing I need to do is move to the page that has the app that I'm interested in. When VoiceOver is working, I have to use three fingers. Page two of two. I and swipe. Double tap to open. Once I've got to the page I'm interested in, I need to find my app. There's a number of ways again this can be done. One of the ways is I can put my finger on the screen and move it around until I touch the thing I'm interested in. Kobo. Look. Double tap to open. That double tap message can actually be done anywhere on the screen. Look. Alert. Accessibility tutorial. Would you like a tutorial on Nook's accessibility gestures? One of the great things about Nook is they thought about how a voiceover user might want to use this and they built a tutorial that only appears if you open it while voiceover is running. If you're going to use it fully, it would be a good idea to use the OK button to listen to that. But I would you like a tutorial cancel? I'm going to use the cancel button. Library heading. To leave that. You may have noticed I used horizontal swipes to move around that screen. I can swipe to the right and that will move me to the next item on the screen or I can swipe to the left to move backwards. So this is another way that I can find the things I'm interested in. I was reading Pride and Prejudice before so I'm going to try and find that book and then open it. Ebooks and Accessibility by Andrew Homer. Button. Oh, Pride and Prejudice Barnes and Noble Classics Series by Jane Austen. Button. Pride and Prejudice Opening ebook, ellipsis. Book page. Two finger swipe to read continuously. The story, however, with great spirit among her friends, for she had a lively, playful disposition, which delighted in anything ridiculous. The e When I open the book, voiceover starts reading on the page that opens, and it would carry on reading the book until the end, unless I stop it. The way I can stop it is to tap once on the screen with two fingers. Once I've done that, I can then start it speaking in the same way. In altogether passed off pleasantly to the whole family. Mrs. Bennett had seen her eldest daughter much admired by the Netherfield. There are some options on the screen that will allow me to do things like change the font size or move to a particular page. And in order to get to those which are above the text of the book, I can just put my finger on that menu. Pride and Prejudice, Barnes and Noble Classics Series by Jane Austen. Pride and Prejudice, Contents, Bookmarks and Notes, Button. Go to page, button. And I can use swipe also options. to move button. between them. Go to page, button. Text field is editing, page number 1 to 944. So for instance, I could move to page 200. 2, 2, 0, 0, 0, at, go. And then carry on reading at that point. Book page. Two fingers swipe to read continuously. Room. Her figure was elegant, and she walked well, but Darcy, at whom it was all aimed, was still inflexibly studious. In the desperation... So when I finish reading my book, I just go to the icon at the top left of the screen, that's my library button. Book page. Two fingers swipe to read continuously. Room. Her figure was elegant. R bright contents. Bookmarks and note. Back to library. Button. And double tap to close the book. Library heading. If you are lucky enough to own a Bluetooth Braille display, you can use VoiceOver to get the information from your book on the Braille display and read it like that as well. That's been a very quick introduction to how you can use the Nook iPad app with the VoiceOver, the built-in screen reader. We hope you found it useful. This video featured the Nook iPad app version 3.4.1.14 running on an Apple iPad with iOS version 6.1.3. RNIB, supporting blind and partially sighted people.